So EA re-released the mixed campaign by player pick. We're going to open up some of these and hopefully get some decent pulls. The first one, Eddie and Ketty is not bad, actually. I do have him untradeable. I will take Eddie and Ketty. Uh, the second one, I have him tradable, sorry, not untradable. The second one's going to be... Sadly, I have a Tal untradable and Fagioli untradable. I'm going to take Miranda. They were okay, though. Not too bad. Let's go and open some on SharePlay and see what we get. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out MMOEXP. There is a link down below. And use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. All right, we have got one for Jake now. One of three, Road to the Final, Feature Stars, or Centurion players. It's an 85-rated squad and an 83-rated squad. One of them needing an inform. Here we go. I'll take a towel. A towel's solid. A towel's a really good player, so we'll happily take use of a towel any day of the week. And he's worth about 300k. Solid. All right, we have two of the player picks now for Cridian. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Future Stars, Badia Sheila is not bad. I think if EA kind of merged the two campaign bags that we've had over the last couple of days and we got like these plus future uh, sorry plus foot fantasies uh in them i think it'd be a really good player uh, mixed campaign bag player pick <laughs> oh my word anthony alanga no i'm just kidding obviously no way no no way Centurion's Neymar, dude. Oh my word. No way. <laughs> Three million. I thought Badia Shile was good. He's worth about 150k, not even. <laughs> yes. Really early on as well in the video, we go and get ourselves Centurion's 91 Neymar worth nearly 3 million coins. That is absolutely ridiculous. Let's go, man. Two more player picks now for my boy Wiz. Uh, like, I don't know if there is actually any cards that are worth more than, um, than that, that Neymar. I think we just got the most expensive card you could possibly get. Uh, 87s to choose from there. I mean, I'm just going to take Vinny Souza. I don't think any of them make a difference. Next one. Come on, EA. Zlatan. Oh, Zlatan would be more expensive, actually. Royce is not bad. I'm pretty sure Royce is worth a pretty penny. No? What is Marco Royce worth? Marco Royce is worth about 270k. I mean, we'll take Marco Royce. That's solid. That, that is all right. That is not terrible. We'll take that. All right, next one of three road to the final future stars or Centurions player pick. Here we go. Yeah, no, that one's not great, is it? Fabio Carvalho is not... That, to be honest, I honestly thought when this card came out, I thought this would be like a 100k card pretty easily. He's actually got really good stats, but yeah, no, people just don't really care that much. Right, we have the pick and then the pack for Steven now. So will the pick have something good? Here we go. Road to the final, Goretzka, please. It's not great, is it? Unfortunately, it's a choice between Kudus and Melia. I think Melia makes sense for Lynx because he does have a Premier League majority team. Um, neither of them are very good though. Right, we're gonna take Melia. French goalkeeper could be good for links, but apart from that, not ideal really. Um, hopefully the 85 plus pack is better. Fingers crossed. Will the 85 plus pack be better? Let's get like a foot fantasy here. Yep, good start. Let's go. English. Cam. Deli Alley. That is unfortunate. And today, Bayern and PSG both lost. So up Mercado and Fabian can't get the maximum amount of upgrades if they you know if they were to go six games unbeaten so that is uh that's interesting as well but that's a terrible pack grand copite has built his mixed campaign bag player pick now come on ea let's get a good future stars or a good road to the final or another centurion's neymar that would be class two to be fair sifuentes is is getting sacrificed for some reason uh, well sifuentes unlucky mate here we go was not worth discarding Sifuentes, was it? Absolutely not at all. One of five, 87 plus, Basel World Cup hero. Incoming, right now. Come on, EA, sort us out, please. Come on, this got to be it. Ginola. I think he, just, I think he literally just got rid of uh, Cordoba. Cap de V is a W. Cap de V is good. Uh, Di Natale is like a small dub, but yeah. Uh, he just gave in Cordoba, which is a bit annoying. I was really, I just want to see Yaya Torre, to be honest. Captain V is good, though. Captain V is very good. 85 plus campaign bag now for my boy Joe. 
We haven't had a good one of these today so far, but I am building five on my account for the for the video as well. So fingers crossed, uh, we'll get something good in in one of mine. But can Lagoon Joe get something good? It's a wants to watch Darwin. If you're a Liverpool fan, or uh, well, I don't know really. If he gets an inform or two and it goes to like 88, 89, it'd be a really, really tidy card. But it's just not there at the moment. It's not terrible. It's just not there at the moment. All right, Aaron's player pick now. Come on. Right now. Hey, Lamella? Is, is Lamella good? I mean, Sevilla play United next. So it's very unlikely, in my opinion, as a United fan, that they progress. So he'll be 89 rated at best. And then you've got Vardy or Ica Bravo. Um, Lamella's okay, I'd say. Lamella's all right. All right, next player pick now from our boy, The Worm. Come on. Buddy Shiele's all right. Lamella's just in the rotation now. I've literally never seen that card before. I didn't even realize he had a uh, road to the final. Now he's just there. Buddy Shiele's all right, though. We take Buddy Shiele. That is solid. Buddy Shiele's a dub. Five mixed campaign packs now for my boy, Cridian. Here we go. He just got a Centurion's Neymar. Surely, I like, look, I don't know how it works. Are we about to see something insane? Let's find out. He just got Neymar, though. So bear that in mind. First one is Fakir. All right, second one now. Come on, let's get a foot fantasy. Oh, into wild card. Who's that? Kevin Prince Boateng. Of course it is. How did I forget that? How could I forget? Kevin Prince Boateng. All right, fair enough. All right, third one now. Come on, EA. Sort us out. We're going to get an out of position this time. Cancelo? Spanish, uh, okay. Yeah, these are bad. I'm not surprised. After getting Neymar, I did not expect him to get anything good. Although, there are two packs remaining. So, you never know. We could still have something insane in here. For fantasy, here we go. Spain, Fabian Ruiz. Who's this? Demarcos. Have Bilbao played? Let's have a look. Let's see if Bilbao have played. Oh, it's untradeable duplicate. Oh, that's annoying. Bilbao have not played yet. They played Getafe this weekend at some point. I don't know what, what point. Wait, they won yesterday? Did they? I don't think they did. Well, that's a discard recovery anyway. That is a discard recovery. All right. Here we go. Last one. Come on. Pay out on the last one. Vinny Jr. I dare you. Oh, that's good, no? Uh, we take those, right? We absolutely take those, no? What's Pedri saying, price-wise? Team of the year, honorable mentions Pedri. About, about 175k? I will take that. That's okay. That is not terrible. We'll take that. Next campaign bag player pick. Come on. Oh, mate, I saw the um, I saw the little lines and I got really excited. I don't think Forsberg is getting any more upgrades, buddy. He probably should get a downgrade for how many goals he conceded to City. Uh, Gahey's all right, though. He's not a terrible centre-back, to be fair. All right, next player pick now. What are we saying? I mean, we'll take that. Atal is solid. Cannot complain with Atal at all. I don't know who Nice have in the next round. Hopefully, it's a pretty easy fixture. Getting another upgrade. That'd be very nice. On to the Xbox now with the with the pair of player picks on the Xbox. Not ideal. I already have Cap on this account, so Miranda means nothing. All right, second one. Come on. Tony Martial. Philippe Anderson. I wouldn't mind, but Lazio got knocked out by Alkmaar. So this card just stays at 87. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Kudus because that card just stays at 87. I mean that is that is tough, man. That is very very tough. Unfortunately. All right, we have the five 85 plus mix campaign bags on my account, and then we're we're gonna jump to the clips from last night of me opening the Elite New Year review packs. So once we've done this, we've got a bunch of Elite New Year review packs to show you guys as well. So Bosley, the first one, um, did. Did uh did they win? I know they played this weekend. I'm pretty sure Leipzig did they win? Leipzig lost 1-0 to Bochum, of course they did. Well, supposedly had a pretty decent game uh by the looks of the stats. Um That's annoying. That is very annoying. Okay, well. Not a great start, is it? Alright, second one. Back to back foot fantasies though. English, Cam, Deli Alley. Wow, so fun. They won, to be fair, but that's back-to-back -back duplicate and tradables. The player picks have been far clear of the packs today. Far clear of the packs. Third one now. Winter wildcard, Kante. Ah, 
<sighs> yeah, it's not looking good today. The EA baited us in. The, I, I know what's happened now. First time EA released these, they gave us incredible odds. So that every time they release five more, we're stupid enough to put all our fodder into doing five of these packs. Oh, I say we. I'm stupid enough. Germany, centre-back, Schlotterbeck. Brilliant. <laughs> they actually have done me in. They have absolutely done me in there. Um... And I, and I, every time I've been a mug and I've been stupid enough to go and submit all my fodder to doing five more of these packs every day. Last one's a winter wildcard. Kimmich or Kante or bust. Do you know what? Klosterman's not bad. I'll actually take Klosterman. Um, I don't know if he's worth a whole lot these days. He's not. But I will actually take Klosterman. Klosterman's okay. Yeah, they really have, like, and it's smart for me, eh, to be fair. And they've done it. Um, right, we have a bunch of Elite New Year review packs to open now, so stick around for the video to see those from last night. Thank you for watching. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're not here. If you made it this part in the video, leave a comment, Mitrovic, after that seriously funny red card. Here are the packs. So EA dropped a brand new 400k Elite New Year review pack. We're opening these up and hopefully getting something insane. It's basically a campaign bag with five special cards in. We get a future stars on the front. Brazil, CDM, Vinicius Souza. That is terrible. That is absolutely awful. I'm I'm an idiot for for basically giving in every time EA drop a pack like this and opening multiple of them. It is for content, but they're never good. They are never good. That is that is absolutely abysmal for 400,000 coins or 3,000 FIFA points. Not a single walkout and the best card being 87 Veghorst or Vinicius Souza or whoever else is in the pack. Prime Icon and a Team of the Year Icon alone. Both of them are getting discarded. I don't care at all. Yikes, that is a terrible start. Hopefully the rest of them are better than this because that was a very, very bad start. Anthony has got an Elite New Year review pack. He is on Xbox, so we're watching him open this. Is why we're looking this way. Hey, will he get something better than me? Mine was probably going to be the worst you'll see today. That was really, really bad. Let's see. Come on, EA. Be better. It is a future star again. Dutch centre-back. Who is this? What? An 85? I suppose Centurions and Winter Wild Cards will be higher rated popping up behind, right? 285s wasted. Wow, that is an awful pack again. EA might this might be the ultimate scam pack this actually might be it like we have waited for months we have seen multiple different packs we might be at the point now this might be the ultimate ultimate scam pack all right we have it man's pack next will it be better we're looking for the first one where we can make over let's say 150k with the five specials centurion walkout it's not a good sign is it i, I think that is a terrible sign i'm pretty sure this is going to be all terrible centurions now isn't it Oh, no. I don't even... On a serious note, is this a prank? Is, is this a prank? This can't be real. This actually can't be real. What are these packs? This, this has to be some kind of, like, weird prank from EA or something, surely. There's no way. There's no way. This is awful. We've got a 10-coin pack first. We'll open up on this account, and then we'll go ahead and do the Elite New Year review pack. 10-coin pack didn't really pay out. Didn't... Did not start off very good at all. Uh, Valencia, Benesser, Godin. Well, a Benesser in the next pack, if there is Foot Fantasies, would be very good. Is there Foot Fantasies? So honorable mention, Winter Wildcard, Centurions, or Future Stars only. Okay. Future Stars Enzo, please. Or Madrick. Or Kvaritskelia. Oh, hello. Vinny Jr. Did we actually just get a good card? Did we Did we actually just get something worth something? We Do my eyes deceive me? Or did we actually get a good card? 91 Kudabali's half a million coins. We actually got a good card. Finally. It only took like four of them. But we finally get a good card. I mean, the rest of the pack's not great. Chico, Kalor, Navas, Jed Spence, Fran Garcia, Alex Pato, Cliver. But we actually got a good card for once. Rejoice. Rejoice, everybody. A half a million coin centre back. Let's go. I'm taking Lippmann for the memes. Oh, man. All right. Well, I'm quite happy about that. That's not bad at all. We'll store that in the club. Finally. 
a good one. On to the Xbox now. We're going to start off with the 10 coin pack. Maybe that's what makes it lucky. The 10 coin pack before. Oh, we get bored. Let's go. 10 coin pack paying out. Gerard Moreno, 85. Good. Great fodder. Very nice. We'll take that. All right. That's solid. What are we going to get in the rest of the pack? Come on, EA. Let's get another good one. This account I actually play on, so this would be very nice. Here we go. Come on. It's going to be Team of the Honourable Mention again. No. No, not good at all. I mean, look, the dangler potential is there, right? Winter Wildcard, Jao Felix, or like Benzema or something. I don't know. Something good. You never know. I mean, Benzema is in there, just not the Winter Wildcard. Unless. No. Wait, what? How many, how many special cards did we get there? We did get five. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a shame, really, because Adama Traore would have been worth a little bit if it was tradable. He's not. Um, it would have been an okay pack. Not an amazing one, but it would have been okay if I didn't already have Adama Traore and tradable. Sadly, I do already have the Adama Traore and tradable. So, it's not amazing, but I, I guess we'll take it. Like, value-wise, it's okay. It's a lot better than the first three we opened, that's for sure. All right, we have got my friend Robbie's Elite New Year review pack now. So far, we've only had one that I would consider a W. That was my Cooler Barley. So, maybe we can build on that and get another one. It is a future star. English, oh man, this is just, it's the same players. Like, I'd never used to believe this whole rotation thing, but it's really hard not to when you see the exact same players in almost every single pack. They're far too common. Kimpembe's a W. Kimpembe's good, actually. We'll take that. That, that, I know I'm like, I'm, I'm switching up so quickly right now, but Kimpembe's all right. What is Kimpembe worth as he opens the player picks? Kimpembe is worth about half a million coins. So, look, it's not amazing. Uh, in terms of the rest of the players. But that one Kimpembe is worth more than the coin pack. So we'll take that. That's solid. All right. Now for Orlando's pack. Come on, EA. Sort us out, please. All right. Robbie's is all right. 500k for Kimpembe. Cannot complain about, to be fair. And he put him straight into his team. So will we get similar luck in Orlando's pack? It's going to be a Future Stars on the front. As always, Brazil. CDM, Vinicius Souza. I've learned to realize, like, it's probably not good on the front. Like, it's usually a future stars, and it's usually a terrible one, right? You want to see Muziala or Enzo or someone like that, but it's never a good one. Two future stars. Oh, oh no. Okay, that is that is terrible. That is absolutely awful. Uh, Lone Van der Sar for 15 games. <laughs> Go on, hull it. Ooh. Well, that is also just a, a terrible, terrible pack. Cheers, EA. 